our today's agenda is what is ethernet protocol what are all the fields exist in ethernet packet header how to craft this ethernet header by using python skippy module and a quick demo without wasting time let's move on to the session so basically what is ethernet ethernet is a traditional technology basically for connecting a wired network in a local area network so as a data link layer protocol in tcp ip stack ethernet describes how network devices can format and transmit the data so that other devices on the same local area or campus area network segment can recognize receive and process them so an ethernet cable is a physical wire over which our actual data will be travel any device accessing a geographically localized network using a cable that is with a wired rather than wireless connection likely uses ethernet whether it is a home school or office network if it is a wire it is a ethernet from business to gamer divers and users depends on the benefits of this network connectivity including reliability and security because over the when we compare with wireless wired is always a fast reliable and secure because there is no fluctuations in that network so this is a cable which actually uh, referring uh, when we are talking about a wired rather than a wireless so this is the cable which we, we actually uh, see in our homes or office uh, networks where this is the wire actually it look like and uh, this is where we actually insert that is the nick card so either it is a monitor desktop a laptop or it's a switch or router which is having this uh, uh, network connectivity for wired it will have a nick card so that is where the, that is a nick card or switchboard that is where we actually insert this uh, rj45 connector so this wire is nothing but an rj45 connector which we insert into a nick card and through you by using this uh, ethernet protocol the actual data will be transferred through this wire so if you see this this image here this rj45 connector actually have eight pins that is called eight spots so when you insert right the data will be delivered or transferred by using this uh, eight ports hope you understand this uh, what is that ethernet uh, what is the benefits of ethernet right let's move on how the ethernet packet header actually looks like so if you see this header there are total seven fields and the one of the greatest thing about ethernet is all to we have different standards they all use a common ethernet frame that is this so this frame this frame hasn't changed much since original ethernet standard from the 70s so this is how actually the frame look like from 70s much there is no much change in it so let me explain you what the different fields here the first one is primable so this primable right it's a seven byte pattern of just ones and zeros this is basically used for uh, synchronization and the second one sfd start frame delimiter so this marks the end of primable and tells the receiver that the next field will be the actual ethernet frame starting with the destination field and you know the uh, destination and source right this is a destination mac address of the receiver and destination mac address of the sending frame and this type tells us what is carried inside the ethernet frame whether it is a ipv4 packet ipv6 packet arc packet whatever it is the type will tells us okay this is this kind of packet this is ipv4 ipv4 packet this is our packet and data this is the the field actually carries the data 
while trying to transmit, for example, IPv4 packet or ART packet. And FCS, the frame check sequence actually helps the receiver to figure out if the frame is correct or is there any corruption in it. So, if you see the color right, the fields which are marked in green are what we call the Ethernet header. So, till this uh, five fields are actual Ethernet header and this is the data and FCM will be added while sending the packet which are not part of actual Ethernet header which is part of all the packets. So, we let's concentrate on only these first five fields and Let's see how we can craft this Ethernet packet by using this uh, SCAPI module. So this is all, all about the description, it's a theory, theoretical description, which is actually uh, not our focus main here because we uh, more likely uh, want to learn how we can craft this packet by using uh, this Python program and the uh, SCAPI module. So let's see, let's create our first Ethernet packet by assigning some fields to it. Let's see how we can do this by using a SCAPI module. So before jumping into uh, creating a packet and checking all these packets uh, by using SCAPI, I assume that you have installed a Python 3 and a SCAPI module. So let me open my uh, terminal command prompt where I already have a SCAPI uh, module installed. Let me uh, quickly open it. So if you have installed and set the path properly from your terminal run a SCAPI command that actually will take you into SCAPI interactive shell. It will take a little bit time. Okay, so we entered into SKP interactive shell. So from here, by using the commands, uh, which we'll uh, will see in just a quick uh, second. So to create and send out actual the bare Ethernet frame. So if you see here, so this uh, this is how we actually will import all the functions from the SKP module. If you use a Python, I mean uh, Python interactive shell, but when you already enter using a SCAPI interactive shell, this command will not be required because we all you are already into a SCAPI shell where uh, SCAPI uh, interactive shell already loaded with uh, all required modules. So if you see here, look at this um, Ethernet header. Uh, this actually the, this command will show you what are all the fields which we actually have seen in this um, slide, right? So it will show you all the fields from the Ethernet header, and it will show you the length of the Ethernet header, and this actually will use to send the packet. So without wasting time, let's create our uh, first Ethernet header packet. Let's see how we can do that. So first let's see uh, what are all the content that are available in Ethernet header by simply executing this uh, command. So if you see this, these are the three main fields which actually have control. The first two fields, right, the pre-mobile and SFD, which are not required and which we actually do not control uh, with manually. So these are the three fields mainly which we actually can control by using uh, this KP module. And if you see the length of the Ethernet header, and you can see here, either it's a 14 bytes, total 14 bytes. You can see that here. So 6612, is it this one? So these are all the three fields which are uh, provided by SKP and the length of the this header is uh, 6 plus 6 plus to 14 bytes. So that is what it here written the 14 bytes and let's populate the fields how we can uh, crop this packet. So let's let me create a, 
uh, an object for the Ethernet packet first. So I'm creating an object for uh, Ethernet header uh, and the PKT. And let's assign some values to it like a destination, destination MAC address, uh, let's say 0, 0, 1, 1. And let's assign source as well. I'm just changing this uh, last two bytes uh, 6, 6, and uh, and this is a source let's show this packet object so if you see this uh, these are the fields which actually provided by SKP the net header and these are all the fields which actually we set and we see right the type if it is a IPv4 packet, IPv6 6 packet, R packet, we can assign the type as well. For this example, let's see, I wanted to assign this uh, type as IPv4 and IPv4 header byte value is uh, 0800. And if you describe the packet, here you can see this is the source and destination and the type is IPv4. So this is a bare Ethernet header packet and if you want to send this packet let's see the summary here first uh, before that um, packet that summary will give you the summary function will give you the overview of the packet so this is the source so we are sending to the destination on the packet type is ipv4 so as this demo we have just created just now created this packet and it is time to send the packet so in order to send a packet basically we have a function called send p if you remember from our uh, skp uh, tutorial there are four functions which actually will be used to send the packet and this is another one it's a send p which actually send the packet internet packet directly onto the wire it only sends the packet and it will it will not return any output so let's see how we can uh, send this packet uh, out of the wire and before um, sending the packet let me open a while shot where we actually can uh, filter the packet I mean capture the packet and we can analyze the packet so let me send my packet here by using this send p and pkt send so if you see this send one packet and go here and if you see this ipv4 packet here right so this is the source which we set sorry destination and this is the source which we have configured and type as ipv4 forget about this this is a malfram ipv4 packet because we just have created ethernet packet but we haven't created IPv4 IPv4 packet because we this in this session we are only concentrating on how to create Ethernet packet. So we haven't created IPv IPv4 packet and we haven't populated IPv4 fields. That's the reason it is a mall found packet. So hope you understand, right? Let's see uh, how actually we can uh, send and receive the packet um, by using this uh, SCAPI uh, module. So there is a command, right? Uh, we can use to get the response back. So if it is response equal to SRP of one. So if you remember from our SKP tutorial, this SRP actually will send response packet written one in response. If you are not familiar with the SRP function, just go back to our um, uh, SKP tutorial and get some understanding what this function will do. And let's execute this command here. So here, if you see, it sent one packet and received one packet, sent one packet, received one packet and got one answer. So we can, so the response is now stored into this uh, response object. Let's open this response object and show that. So this is the response which I have received actually. 
uh, which is similar to send packet because we haven't sent the proper packet so we will not get a much response from it so this is the output which we have received understand right so this is how we can send the packet um, in scapy module by using scapy module and if you want to analyze the packet so we can simply use this uh, hex dump which actually display hexadecimal bytes of the data so if you see this in y shock right here this is the output of uh, hexa value which we have received the packet so simply we can use this uh, hex dump this command right hex dump command and that response we can get the hex value of the uh, get given response so this is this is the same as the output which we have seen here in the wild shark so without having this gives you a brief understanding on without having this what thought party tool like wild shark we can simply analyze the packets by simply issuing a single lines of commands by using this uh, scapy module i think that's all for this session i hope you understand uh, what is ethernet header and how we can craft ethernet packet by using scapy module and you understand the demo as well thank you so much